Good morning, one and all. I am Mr. Robert Matthew, a research scholar from Kumbu University, Karnataka. I would like to present before you an article on the potentialities of e-pedagogy and related technological advancement for a deviation-free school education system. Jointly prepared by Dr. Jagannath K. Tange, Associate Professor, the Department of Education, Kumbi University, Karnataka. As all of us know, education has got topmost priority in the advancement of every nation. But considering Indian context, education is challenged by digital era and its demands. Because new generation is born and they are supposed to find their space in digital era. So the purpose of our target of education system should be the formation of tech savvy young generation with novelty, creativity and amalgamation of knowledge. But these advancements are blocked by the presence of deviated practices which remain as hurdles in development process. It can be well found in sustainable development goals. Quality education, which is mentioned in sustainable development goal four. Innovation is mentioned in sustainable development goal nine. Corruption free atmosphere is also mentioned in sustainable development goal 16. That means education system is supposed to target by 2030 a quality education through innovation in a corruption free atmosphere. This article tries to explore two things. First one is type of deviated practice and its impact on learners of 21st century and how e-pedagogy and related advancement will lend a hand to overcome these deviated practices. What is deviated practices? Deviated practices mean those practices that are deviated from original intention or aims. Deviated practice and corruption are same, one and same. Because deviated practices means corrupt practices that damage the intention. Then what is education deviated practice? Education deviated practices are nothing but deviation from educational objectives. Why we need to control deviated practices in education system? Transparency International Council 2019 they say deviated practices steal the future of next generation that means future of the nation national education policy 2019 to state damages it damages the honesty and integrity of education system and cripple the future generation that means a handicap national development World Bank 2018 say expulsion of even the possibilities of deviated practices remain the heart of sustainable development. That means sustainable development cannot be attained with the presence of deviated practices. What are the types that can be found out? In education system as deviated practices and how it impact on education system and learners. UNESCO 2016 Asian Development Bank and uh, International Institute for Education Planning Council have identified six types of uh, deviated practice in education system. First one is favoritism. Favoritism is one of the deviated practices which often takes the forms of discrimination, partiality and abandonment etc. It will cause in the learner's life 
distrust, negative attitude, inferiority feelings, disinterest and inability in studies and less confidence in his or her academic achievement and ability. Bribe means it's a prohibited payment to get a specific post through which unqualified, unfit and unable person enter into the education field. That means damaging the education system. Fraud. It can be a personal or group conspiracy with an aim of deceiving the system or the persons concerned. It may be teachers, management or institutes. Enforcement. Act of compelling the observance of certain prohibited rules like donations or uh, purchase of books published by private companies. Fifth one is harassment. It may be mental or physical torture like revenge taking, sexual assault against learners, neglecting the learners, torturing the learners, discriminating among the learners, ridiculing or threatening the learners. Ambassadorment. It's a kind of leakage or diversion or stealing of money or material that are sanctioned for a public good, that means education advancement. In short, these six derivative practices, one way or another way, directly or indirectly, affect education system, lives of uh, the learners, or the teaching learning process. Role of e-pedagogy in 21st century education system. What is the role of E-pedagogy e -pedagogy means it's a conscious and purposeful act of teaching to enhance the learning outcome. It's the unique, unique character of pedagogy is that it should be flexible enough to accommodate the innovations or to find the ways to actualize the demands of the time. According to Dr. Jagannath K. Tanke, digital world needs a digital pedagogy for forming a digital generation. Otherwise, outdated pedagogy will form a young generation who are unfit and unskilled for digital world. E-pedagogy cannot be a source of controlling deviated practices. It needs certain requirements. That means e-pedagogy's success depends upon educational advancement. What are the educational advancements that are to be executed in the school? The figure number one shows some areas where this development has to be done technologically. It may be Persona, it may be training system, it may be management, it may be infrastructure, it may be software field, it may be hardware. Anyway, e-pedagogy success depends upon the overall development or advancement of school system. The second part of this article deals how deviated practices can be overcome by digital platform. Deviated practices are so many types. Teaching related deviated practices. Exam related teaching, result related oriented teaching, unwillingness to taking raw material classes, shadow teaching, etc. It can be overcome by the digital platform digital exam based on cloud computing, online tutoring, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning and shared learning through social media platforms. And assessment related deviated practices also are visible in education system like uh, leakage of question paper allowing the electronic devices for writing the exam in the example and forgery and falsification of the result, malpractice in evaluation and result publishing, etc. This can be 
overcome by the digital platform like a centralized question forming assessment and digital assessment system like uh, national eligibility test and j double e appointment related uh, related tvt practices and qualified teachers appointment ghost teachers means uh, in the record they are but in actually they are not teaching appointment based on favoritism nepotism bribe etc it can be overcome by digital selection and appointment process online entrance exam biometric system interview through video conferencing and recording like we can over the appointment related deviated practices income and payment related deviated practices such as low salary payment and no facility of esc and pf and delayed payment it's a kind of transcription collection of fee and its misuse and compulsory payment like donation picnic fee sales of textbook uh, etc this can be overcome by a digital transaction system it can be centralized one through state managed softwares harassment related deviated practices which means maybe misconduct revenge sexual assault neglecting torturing ridiculing etc this can be overcome by the digital technological advancement advancement of biometric like facial recognition eye tracking voice recognition or teaching uh, law and related regulations and uh, digital grievance platform also will help the learners to find out the way to expose their feelings suggestions what are the suggestions for example education system has to be developed according to the digital demands for a successful adaptation of e pedagogy for a deviation free education system the entire education system to be advanced assessments committee are to be formed to know the status quo of the present education system on the basis of report some new new policies are to be formulated and immediately it has to be executed for the rectification of the problem for the upgradation of schools structure and training the teachers there should be adequate fund which should be allotted through the budget allocation time possibilities for occurrence of deviated practice should be vigorously and vigilantly avoided by strict procedure and adopting the technological advancement to conclude as all of us know technological background and deviated practices will never contribute to the actualization of objective but of education so a conscious and courageous move towards a rectification and updation of education system to reach out the target should be taken from the concerned authority so deviation free and technological advanced education system is need of the time in this globalized era where e pedagogy has a vital role to play but for the successful adoption of e pedagogy the entire system of education including personal infrastructure uh, are to be advanced reference as we are seeing is mainly taken from dr jagannath k dange his own personal views thank you so much